Hello and welcome to this mobile WMS session where we'll show you how the GS1 data matrix barcode works with the mobile WMS solution. The mobile WMS solution supports all standard barcodes and also the GS1 data matrix barcode. And the GS1 data matrix barcode is a so-called information bearing barcode because it can contain lot numbers, batch numbers, uh, serial numbers, weight, etc. And that's why it's often used for items uh, with tracking. Here in this session, we're at the receiving zone in our warehouse, and we're about to receive an item that requires lot tracking. So first, let me just show you the procedure with a one-dimensional code 128. So we have our orders here, and we'll pick up the item and just scan it to do the filtering, and then we'll see the order lines. Okay, so let's just scan the item again. Then we have to set the expiration date and we'll set it to October 31, 2020. Then we'll scan the lot number and accept the quantity. Okay, but if you have lots of items, this uh, process could be a lot easier if you could use a barcode that can contain all the information that we just entered. So let's just uh, delete the registration we just made. And now let me show you the same receiving process with the same item, uh, but now we're using a GS1 data matrix barcode. So again, we have the orders, we'll scan the item and to go to the order lines, and then we'll scan the item again. And as you can see, we are sent directly to the quantity screen. And if we go a couple of steps back, you can see that the information already has been entered because the barcode contained the information about the lot number and the, the expiration date. Okay, let's go back to the, the, the quantity screen and accept the quantity. And now we're done with the registrations. Okay, so that was how the GS1 data matrix barcode works with the mobile WMS solution. Thanks for watching.